In the recent months, a few updates have come out for Photoshop specifically for Creative Cloud users. First, make sure you have this update installed by going up to Help and then down to Updates. Then ensure that Photoshop is selected and click Update. In these new updates, one of the more useful additions to Photoshop was Smart Filter support for both Liquify and the Blur Gallery. To use this feature, make sure and first convert your image to a smart object. Right click on your image layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Your image is now ready to have any smart filters applied to it. Then go up to Filter and down to Liquify. If you've not used Liquify, I recommend playing around with it as it is a very fun filter to use. Now I will be selecting the bloat tool and enlarging the cow's eyes as if to suggest that he has just found out where hamburgers come from. Once you have made your Liquify changes, go ahead and click OK. Liquify is now added as a smart filter onto the layer allowing for non-destructive editing. Double click on the filter to go back into your Liquify manipulation. You can now continue to edit the image or use the reconstruct tool to revert back areas to their original status. Once you are happy, click OK again. Now keep in mind that smart filter functionality has also been added to the blur gallery. Feel free to go up to filter, blur, then over to iris blur to place a radial blur on the image. Tweak the settings until you are happy and then click OK. Again, the filter has been added as a smart filter onto your layer, which allows you to edit the result later. So make sure and download this update if you can and already haven't to get the ability for smart filters with Liquify and the Blur Gallery. As always, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.